it's Mo. So today I wanted to share with you my planner. This is the planner I use to organize both my life and my blog and other things like YouTube um, that I need to post or put up or just keep remembered. I have it color coded. Um, and I, today I just wanted to walk you through, show you how you can make a customized planner to suit your needs for very cheap and also show you how you don't have to be intimidated by color coding or making your planner pretty. I see a lot of these videos or a lot of these uh, posts about planners where they're like, oh, I decorate them every week. I don't think that's necessary. It's okay to have a nice looking planner, but you're supposed to use your planner for planning. At least that's how I see it. So I will give you a little walkthrough of my planner and let's just get started. Okay, so this bag here I got from uh, Walgreens on clearance. I think it was under $3 and it's just a little makeup bag. I use it to carry pencils and my sticky notes though. I do have a color coding system. So in here I have highlighters and pens um, just to write in my planner and mark things that are important. I also have various sticky notes notes um, that go along with my color coding system um, in various sizes and some little flags here from Post-it. So all these things just live in this and I do keep this in my purse. Um, I don't necessarily bust this out on the lunch table when I'm on lunch or at my desk or anything um, to plan and make pretty. This I just bring along in case I do need to do something which I really haven't run into that problem actually yet. Um, I try and plan everything uh, at um, I try and plan everything at night and um, on the weekends and whatnot and just get my week planned out for, you know, the week on one day. I guess I'm sounding kind of insane right now. But I just sit down on Sundays or whenever and I go through and I plan out my week because there are things I need to remember, doctor's appointments, um, what's happening at work, things like that, uh, bills that need to be paid, when I'm going to pay my credit card bill, when I need to do the trash, things like that. But also, um, I use this for my blog, so I have when blog posts need to go up and everything. And it's just a reminder for me to know when things need to be done. So this is just a little bag, and this is the actual planner. This binder I got from um, Target, and it was under $6, I believe. It was on clearance, and the brand is in the back, and I'll get to that, and I'll tell you what brand it is. And then this little band here is just a file band. I also got this in a set of three from Target for under $3, I believe. So it's really affordable to customize and personalize a planner. Before I got this, I actually found another 8.5 by 5.5 binder. That's what this size is at uh, Staples for about 5 bucks. So you can find them anywhere. So once you open this up, you can see this is a little, um, what do you call this, pencil case that I got from... Meyer, it was on clearance too. It was under $3, I believe. In here I have a stylus um, and some washi tape, but sometimes I keep pins in here as well. This just makes the binder a bit more square for me, so there's that. And I also show you how to make, um, how, to, how I made this. This didn't come with these hole punched and I sewed a line down here. Um, there's a sort of tutorial how to do this on the blog and I'll link that below. But this is one of the things, I've been really inspired by Filofaxes and watching other people's planners, um, planner videos and tours and stuff online. I didn't know it was a thing until I fell down the rabbit hole of watching them. So this little divider here is actually from a Project Life kit. Um, a lot of these, all of these dividers are, they're from Project Life and I just trimmed them down with my paper trimmer and now they fit in this binder. But um, this little this little tab here is my color coding, um, and yellow is family because when I think of a yellow highlighter or the color yellow, I think it's the most important thing. And so this is family stuff. Mark down everything in yellow with my yellow highlighter. Pink is for the blog. Orange, also another important color in my mind, is for my goals. YouTube is um, blue. Money is green, of course. And then I have a purple color, but I don't have any washi tape to match it, so I haven't put it on there. So that's just at the front. And then another thing I have seen in these um, planner tour videos is something like a dashboard. Um, and so this is the first thing you see when you open your planner. And so putting sticky notes or information or anything on here that is the most important that you're going to look at every day uh, is what this section is for. And so I have my goals for this month. I have family thing. I, family things I want to do. These are the... Um, YouTube videos I need to film. You can see I filmed my new use and empties. I've actually filmed this elf or eyes, lips, face look. So here's a live demonstration. I will cross it off. And I'm filming my planner tour right now. So I can go ahead and cross that one off. So for the month, I've reached, you know, some of my goals here. 
And so we'll flip this page over, and this actually front here is back is back is blank. This back here is blank. Um, this divider here is, like I said, a Project Life divider, and it goes to my um, family calendar. It does have some blog stuff on it. I'm not going to do that next um, next month when it comes to it. So we've already gone through this day, we've already gone through this day, and this day, and this day, and now we're on here. So I have the thing, when things are due, we went to the bank. I have to pay, I pay my credit card bill every week because I don't like to have it pile up. I don't want to pay interest on it. So I just pay it every week. Um, you can see my school loans are due here. We have a Comcast bill due here. Um, the pink is for my blog, and so I have all the posts, and then um, blue is for YouTube. So not really much going on this month, which is why I kept this um, monthly calendar here small, because really I just wanted to know when bills were due, when we were doing family things. We went to the movies this past weekend. We're going to Chicago next weekend. Um, so just to see when things were due, so I had a peace of mind. Um, this is notes, a notes section on the back of the calendar. Um, I've already written down videos for March, new used and empty, get ready with me, planner tour, fade nude lipsticks, um, and then I have a master goal list. So I have my four top four goals for my four simple goals project that I'm doing on the blog. I'm trying to complete four smaller goals um, every month just to challenge myself and keep myself accountable. Um, so those are picking living room art, film more YouTube videos, organize the kitchen cabinets, and go to the movies. We already went to the movies this month. I want to go at least one more time. We have some free tickets, so I want to use them. Um, and then I keep forgetting to do my three little things um, challenge that I'm also doing on the blog. So I try and remind myself with that there. And then I have any other goals or things that need to be attended to this month listed here. This bottom tab will flip you to the current week. And you can see this was last week and this is this week. I use a pink sticky note to designate things that I need to do for the blog. Um, I have the dates uh, filled in here. And um, I highlight things. Purple is um, personal. That's the color I don't have in washi tape here to do that. So like on Wednesdays I do a mask. On Sundays, I do a mask and try to do my nails. And any other personal thing that I'm going to do, like get my hair done or, um, I don't know, make a shopping date or something. Something that I set aside for myself, I like to highlight in purple. And um, so, and then I have my goals. I didn't get to the cabinets um, this weekend, actually, but I have that highlighted in orange. We did go to the movies, and I did do the laundry, so we can cross that off. Um, this is just re also a reminder of things that I need to do. I don't know how many times I have put off doing the laundry and actually forgotten about it. I do it on, on Sunday, but I try to start doing it on Saturday. So this has actually helped me out a lot. We also had somebody come look at plans for our house and so it just keeps me accountable for things. I plan out when I'm going to work on posts for the blog so on Wednesday I worked on a post for the blog. These are ideas um, that I need to work on for the blog for this week. You can see some things didn't get done um, but that's okay and then this is this week. I didn't write the week of right there but this is 3-3 through 3-9. I have um, See, I have the three great things. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, I have, these are the things I need to do for my blog. I actually have, we can remove this sticky note. I actually have all my posts for this week planned out and scheduled. So there's a check by all of them. We didn't get to go to fencing. Zach wasn't home. I did take the trash out this morning. I'll do a mask later tonight. We're going to Chicago and there's daylight savings time. So just things I need to remember because you don't know how many times I forget stuff. And then the next week I have sort of planned out here. I know I'm going to do posts then, so I just have them marked off. And I will move this um, divider, another Project Life divider, over to here for next week and have two weeks there. Um, and then we have this pink divider going into April. I have not marked anything off for April yet. I need to start marking in um, when I pay my loans and my credit cards, when our Comcast is due, when the... Um, Gas bill is due, things like that. And so then again, notes an April master goal list. And it goes on like that um, for quite a while. July, August. I think I have all the way to December in here. And then this pink or ready pink color tab in here is for my March editorial calendar. And these are the original calendars that I was going to use in this, but it got too bulky. Plus, I put this washi tape on the side to make it more pretty, and it just made it extremely bulky in this notebook. So I'm just going to designate these kinds of calendars to my editorial calendars and mark them off with pink and put them in the back. And so... 
This, I mark off all the features I'm going to have this month. I always have on Mondays a Make It Monday. I always have some sort of Trend Tuesday post and always some sort of Wednesday Decor post. I mark those off. And I know I want to start doing YouTube videos on Sundays and on Thursdays. So I have those marked off. And I have already, I just fill in when I want things to go up. I don't know if you can read any of this. But um, I have everything planned out for this week. And I needed to do my four simple goals post. So I circled it and I checked it off when it was done. And then this weekend or even this week, I'm going to start going through and making sure I have everything scheduled for this. So on the 13th, this is going up. So I'm filming this. Um, what day is it? I'm actually filming this right now on Wednesday the 5th. So to get a head start on having that. And you can see I have some filled in. I already have things that I want to do. Um, I will link how I do my planning below on my blog. I have, and then, oh, this back here um, is blog posts. And so I actually haven't really been keeping up with this. I write down the ideas I have, and I write down notes, and then I write down if there's a draft or if it's been published. For example, this one has already done all of these things. I haven't even started on my Fave Eye Shadow brushes. Um, Rimmel BB Cream, it's not published yet. Favorite Craft Supplies, not done. Um, custom Planner, let's see, Planner ones. This one I need to do two Pick Monkey posts because I'm an affiliate with Pick Monkey. Um, it's a great photo editing software. Um, and I believe right now, I will leave the link below. Um, you can use it to edit your um, photos, maybe for a thumbnail here on um, YouTube or for your blog. I will leave a link, I believe it's still active, where you can try the Royale, which is their premium features for free for um, for a day. And I will leave that link below. I will also leave a link to sign up for PicMonkey. If you do like their Royale features, go ahead and sign up for it. It's, I believe, $35 a month. I mean, not a month, $35 a year. Um, for the entire thing. I will, uh, for access to the Royale feature for an entire year. So I'll leave that below with all the information because I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have some of these other um, pages with just blog posts, and you can still see the back was my old way of planning, but I realized that having a week on two pages was just way too much for me. And this little divider here takes um, to my notes page, and I just printed out lined pages from Word. I just put lines all the way across. Um, I already filmed my new used and empties video. This was me keeping a running list of things that I wanted to um, include in there. Um, and then in this tab we have some blank paper which I haven't done anything with and then another tab that's just extra in the back there. And finally in the back sort of keeping all my pages together and in case I'll ever need them are these little half sheet flappy things that I got from Avery. I believe they're from Martha Stewart for Avery. And they work um, in case I need to put receipts or something I need to use, I don't know, in there. But right now they just keep my pages flat. And the um, the brand of this is Green Room. It's 100% recycled. So this binder is. And so that is my planner tour. As you can see, I think it's important to stay color-coded. And you can make your planner look pretty. If you want to take out the time to go ahead and like put stickers all over, all over everything, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. If that's your prerogative, you know if you want to do that. But I really want to use my planner for planning. So I took the time to make the important things, I guess, pretty like my dividers and stuff because I didn't just want to have a plain old planner. If I did that, then I would just go buy one from the store. I wanted to sort of make a customized thing. So there you have it. Um, a very customized planner for rather cheap. Um, I found all of this, most of the stuff at Target. This right here is just a piece of cardstock. You can even take this to Staples and get it laminated. Then you can use the other side, or scrapbook paper, I mean. Then you could use the other side as maybe a dry erase sort of um, list there. I just made this little thing up in Word um, with a table, and I just made it up and it's black and white. I'm a very black and white person. I don't know if I could take it if it was um, like pink and green and blue and then I had highlighted colors on it. I don't know if I could take it. So there you have it. That is my planner tour. It all folds up together and I just put my little band around it to keep it nice and um, closed in my purse. And there's that and my little planning pencil case here and that is my planner and that's how I go about planning for my life and for my blog. 
So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. You can also read my blog. It's 516thsblog.com and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 516 I will talk to you all later. Bye.